Well, this level looks hard as balls. 36 and a half thousand to first get the A car to its star and then the flag at the right. And then the B car to the turnaround point and its flag in the bottom left. Look at it hide down here. So for starters, if I just build nothing, what happens? Nothing good. Maybe I could just try a very simple ramp. Like I'm talking two whole roads here. Just to something smooth it out and see if it hits that platform in the middle. <laughs> well, it's a little better. Yeah, there's a motor speed. This automatically turns. So hold on then, let me change the jump then. Something like that. Oh, that's a smooth landing. Too bad it doesn't matter. But actually, it's giving me an idea of how the level actually works. I almost want to just build a very tiny ramp right here, see what happens. Like it lands and then hits the star and keeps going. You know, that's pretty good and nothing breaks. But maybe let's like really keep it going. Like launch the crap out of it. And I think as per normal, we'll just overspend right now. See if I can get a good jump out of this. Well, I mean, it's not bad. It's a pretty bad rotation though. Straight road and then some sort of arc. Come on, just one good jump, please. Yes, count it, lands on its wheels. So then this is interesting, right? I almost got to do some sort of turnaround on the bottom. Like, look at this. It almost is parallel to the rotating thing itself. But I need some sort of way to use the bottom side of the road here. Something like this. Oh, but this is going to shatter. You know this is going to shatter. And even if it doesn't shatter, it's going to miss, right? What? Hey, excuse you. You were just at the flag a second ago. How dare you? Get your white ass back there. What is wrong with you? There we go. So now we got this, which actually isn't that bad. So a couple things learned. I don't need this starting road. And then I just need to kind of ramp it around a touch more, like not that much more. And this is over budget, but like not by too much. Up oh, there's the break. I knew it was coming. Maybe I could have a spring at the very beginning, just to like kind of act as a shock absorber. Does that make a difference? Oh, it literally rams right into the road. Here's what's up then. Bring the roads up. Come on, you little dick. Oh, not bad. It's terrible. Let's be very clear. It's just like way too drastic of an angle change here. Like you do a two road with spring sort of catch. That should help with a lot. I need to readjust how these roads go. It's just bad. Like the first road needs to be more kind of like angled like this. And then I'll do a more proper road turnaround. Maybe complete with shorter roads so it's smoother. How about this? It's still kind of crap. But I think it has better potential at least. Oh, that was a pretty nice jump. Terrible landing. Destroyed this. I think for now I'm just going to succumb and do a steel muscle. But I do admit this is terrible for the long term. Oh, that actually works. Oh, did that do it unbreaking or is there a sneaky break? Hey, no breaks. Top 36% somehow. This is not that bad of a shave. I feel like I can shave a lot on the top. Like right from the get go, this steel does not all need to be here. It's actually in fact a pretty clean jump. What I'll do is just some sort of wood truss about that far and then have like the bottom parts be steel. It doesn't quite get me there and hopefully it doesn't break. No, it's not even close to breaking. Still launches fine. Hopefully there's no weird butterfly effect. There isn't. <laughs> I love how the catching road just kind of curls up. I'm going to make like every other one be a rope near the end anyway. Because yeah, they're going to be flimsy a bit, but eventually they're going to be tight. And hopefully they're tight at just the right time. Yeah, it's tight right now. And it's still... Wah! It changes the catch. Oh, interesting. Take it real slow here. Everything's fine here. It moves around a lot, but... Nothing breaks. The edge is really unstressed. Then it just lands. Oh, it's a road that breaks. I see. This steel, that could be a rope. It's not undergoing stress. Just the biggest worry is the wiggle. I think it should be tight. Like it's a gentle angle this thing is coming in at. Pretty flat. Yeah. <laughs> Stand it up even. Safely against the wall. Well, I've still got steels on the top. Try a road here. Road's good under compression and no problems. This steel looked like it could be, I think it actually be three woods like this. Um, that bottom wood may need to be a road. 
Still way cheaper than the steel. But it definitely can get away with just being a road. Oh, so close. Fine. Two roads with a friend. It's the main support on that side, so yeah, that seems pretty good to have shades. Let's replace another steel with a rope. Just have a super wiggle at the end. Look at how wiggly that is. And not wiggly anymore. It is time to wiggle, but when duty calls, it mans up. I guess I could go back to the top where I'm kind of replacing steels with roads. Oh, that could be a wood. Give me a second. That has no stress. Not even a little bit. Looking at the ramp, maybe I could just go for more wood pieces, raise this up a bit. I'm like $100 off budget. I really just want to get there. All right, tweak it under. Let's see if it makes a difference. Oh? Oh, love it. Fun level. Let's see how people got this for $8,000. Look at this. Wow, that is such a minimalist ramp. Where is the other part? Oh, the car is upside down really close to the flag, so it takes a long time to get there. Stalling enough for this thing to turn around so there's nothing needed on the other side. Wow. I can't even say that's cheese. That's just jump levels being jump levels. No! <laughs> Oh my god, that's not even a jump. It's like a slingshot. Pull it back and whoop, the shock absorption is beautiful. Yeah, fair play to these bridges. This one's called cat flaps. And these uh, forklifts have a lot of horsepower and no top speed. They're carrying a three polygram mass each. No, right one's carrying a two polygram mass. Either way, I mustn't drop them. It's not actually a requirement of level, but a requirement of good bridge building. And the idea is with no hydraulics, I actually have to create cat flaps. And what does that mean? So I got this bridge here. I can actually do straight roads entirely. And then for the A bridge, it would kind of go directly through. It's not exactly how I'd want it. Like I almost want to take advantage of this heavy horsepower. Like have it tilt back, go steeply up, and then just kind of do the same thing again right here. So here's what needs to happen. The roads can't actually be attached. They can be close to attached, but not attached. And using math, I can determine that the height is about like 2.6 meters. So what I need to do is just make sure there's about 2.6 meters of rigid headroom in between the two roads. Looks about like this. If I want to play it safe, I could just do rigid headroom to here. If I want to, and maybe I do, I could actually have this hang on tension. Just this one thing of rigid support holding it up. And here's what's going on, all right? We're going to keep the rigid support up here. Maybe balance it to this other anchor joint. Anchor point. And then these three roads will just be able to go up. They'll be able to be pushed up. And I'm just going to get rid of the rest of this. I don't know if this will actually work. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this has lots of actual problems. And frankly, it's probably better off if I just go, like, steel here. Brace it. Say, screw these cables. I'm just going to have a rigid support on the bottom. So right now, I want to see how this holds. Right now, there's actually a pretty bad hold down here. I'll just go for an early rope. A lot of stress on this road, but if it tilts up and starts driving, the road breaks. Because it looks like the stress has actually been brought to the road and not to the steel. Shame. How about I change the angle on this then, huh? Using this, I can almost have the steel brace lower. And then see that the road is in fact still getting stressed. But less so now. Alright, so the cat flaps have a little trouble. Distance here, 2.68 meters. I feel like then this could be rigid. I feel like it could. And then if I further want to, and you know what? In this case, I do. I'll make like a little steel brace here, just tying all these together. So all these can kind of flat cat flap as one. So now I got a single rigid cat flap. Oh, there isn't enough headroom. This time I fixed the headroom. Now it just collapses the instant that it hits the cat flap. Cat flap is going to be a little bit spring. I'm going to go tiny spring, huge cable. Actually, spring is cheaper, so I'll actually let it be a bit more long. So that way there's a bit of shock absorption. Now we can see there's a break here, which I believe should be intention. And it's my biggest fear. Can I maybe divert some of the stress to this cable going up? Sometimes you can. I mean, the road looks a lot better, so it's working. All right, I, I, that's actually exactly what I wanted. That forklift driver has been getting on my nerves for weeks. It's about time I taught him a lesson. So the rest of the bridge, build, 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 bring it all back, something like this. So how about I just focus on the arch for the main bridge, all right? We're going under, over, under. I mean, this is just a very standard, but good under, over, under support. I may need some more. 
Not yet. I actually got a ton of budget to work with. I think I'm going to preemptively make these steel. Just got a feeling. And cable. Now the next cat flap. I've got to have a pretty rigid structure. Go double steels here. And then I think three whole roads need to move. So truss them all. I will put a spring here so they consider moving. And I think I'd actually go as far as to make this rope. Make this rope. Anchor in the static point. Maybe just double anchor. I'm trying to get away with being cheap. But there's definitely some flaws in this design. Let's just see how far A gets. Oh, now that the rest of the bridge here decides to break just in time. Well, as an easy steel replacement. You know what? Things are looking good. Damn you. It's in tension here. I could go for a rope. One of these times it'll hold well. Bounces around, but it does work out. Now I'm curious to see how this weird flimsy part holds up, huh? Okay, the rope just tears itself to shreds. What's funny is that it actually drives otherwise. But I think this here being a rope, that's no good. That can't be the case. I'm starting to see why. Obviously, it needs to be in compression. You know what? I'll actually go steel here. This road, I think I'm tempted to just go spring road. Just make it not responsible for anything that happens. If there's anger taken out on this bridge, I don't want the roads to feel it. Wow, yeah, that works really well. So now, ah, uh, the wood does break. Okay, fine, so I'll go for a steel. You know what, double steel, screw it. I am way under half budget. They gave you so much money for this. This is crazy for a secret world level. This feels like, hmm, my cat flap here was not good. So the problem is it needs to be higher up because then it can push up higher. And I think I would go for a shorter spring, maybe do a cable here. Then if I go for more steel sports, I'm now over half budget. Let's just see if the current height works out better. Yeah, it's much easier pushing up. <laughs> it's just the wheelies, which yeah, rightfully breaks the steel. Probably don't want to be wheeling. See if I can just like smooth out the angle and actually take this and move it about here. Cause I think this could be attached by cable. Nope, it can't. Fine. Full on steel. All these extra steels, and it's really not that over budget. Oh man. Tweaked it a bit. It actually finally works properly. Now, ooh, that's the last thing I was worried about. A whole ass spring snapping. I almost need to set it up so the way it sags has the road nodes be right next to each other, as they are currently not. Like, it can't be jumping down much. So I almost want to lower this road, increase the length of this road. They're almost closer now. Oh, pardon me. I didn't expect that to suddenly get stuck. Uh-huh. All right, there we go. All according to the plan. And it's a pretty good connection. Is pretty good good enough, though. It is not. Just want to study this as the forklift goes over, right? So it weighs down the roads. And it is just compression. Do you think it could outforce a steel muscle? A vertical steel muscle? I think there's like a 50-50 shot that it could. Well, let's see. I wouldn't be surprised if something else takes the hit. Yeah, like that spring. Driving over a cat flat. Very scary stuff. Let's let you just go full cable here. Say no spring today. You are just going to have to survive your own forces. Oh, wow. Beautiful landing. Now, it's going to bump into the catch, but I want to see if maybe there's a miracle work or if I'll just have to tweak the right side road. I will. All right, get tweaked. Idiot. This has the best chance to work yet. No springs letting it sag, so it's just solid stuff holding it up. Yeah, all right, that works really well. Time to shave, like, $10,000. I could probably shave 20, 30,000 off this. Bottom 1%. How dare the offline Steam leaderboards assume that I'm going to get bottom 1%? Don't they know a damn thing about me? I'm going to shave this bitch. We're going back to steel. We're just going to raise this up because we know it won't be that necessary. I could lower this alternatively. It may change the bridge dynamics, but not today. Let's see, though. It may have a harder time holding. I mean, technically, but it does work. The cable itself doesn't even get that stressed. I could try a rope. And regret a rope. The two phases of placing a rope. These two steels that I preemptively made steel, they don't need to be steel. That's a pretty hefty shave, although the consequences are non-existent. Hey, so remember when I overbuilt the crap out of this? I don't need all these steels. 
I may be able to get rid of this one entirely. That's a box. Sometimes you can get rid of those supports. Man, it's a tough day. How about this? I let it be rigid. Bunch of woods. This here probably can be like a wood X. Probably can have this be wood. Probably don't even need more wood here. But I may need like one steel. Something like that. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Must it be that way? Fine. Be a steel. Still pretty cheap. Is that half budget? I think so. Huh. That came quick. I'm going to shave until I'm happy. Okay, I'm happy. Got to blow $50,000. Eliminated most of the steals. Unfortunately, the ones there are required. But it's a pretty clean bridge design. And I delivered the crates. I hope the gallery is legit. All right, we got... What is this vehicle doing? It's a freaking banana bridge. It has to wheelie its way up at the end. What is going on? Ah, oh, Andy drops the crate. What a terrible job. Ah, here we go. An actual good bridge. It even wheels he wheelies at the end, but still keeps the crate. That man is forklift certified. What the hell is happening with this bridge? Did he have a road falling from the sky so it could keep the crate out? What? How dare you disrespect the crates like that? It is hilarious that this doesn't kill the bridge, though. It just jitters until it makes it up. That's what you get for giving these things 25 horsepower. I got one more level in me. This one's called ramping up. Seven roads. And the vehicle's not even that fast. Oh. So it will do a jump, make it to here. Then a hydraulic will happen. So the roads can go up to create a jump that lets us go even higher. Wow. Let me see something here. I do a really basic one row jump. Where does it lead me? Does it at least get to the middle? I mean, kind of. See, I was thinking I spend two roads on jumps here. And then the other five on just like this rotating middle. So I was thinking I would have the right joint be pretty static. And then the rest just kind of pivot around it. And that would look something like this. Honestly, if just the simple hydraulic holds it up. And if this even works. Alright, well the good news is it's actually too low. So something a little higher might work better. Oh, it just breaks there. It's almost perfect to actually just go for another steal. It'd be crazy if I got this like second try on a secret world level. So it, it it moves. It's tilted up. I don't think it's going to quite get there. Yeah, okay. So this pivots a little too much. So I almost got to lock this in. Kind of have it balance on the rock like that. Say so that's really not going anywhere. Don't try to pull anything here. And then see what it looks like with, ah, uh, better pivot. Just refusing to pivot. Hey, you know what? Fine. I'll let it pivot. That's not the last you've heard of me. Ooh, that almost worked. Damn near. I think I just need more hydraulics. Replace the steel hydraulics since they're basically already there. Make a bit of an X. Expand it a bit. Lower this launching ramp because it looks like it's overshooting its target. I mean, this is pretty clean. Yeah, it's almost like too much of a jump at first. Oh, what a weird break. Let me mess around with that a bit. Maybe if it's rope, it holds better. Or maybe it just needs to not be so steep. Uh, it lands at a weird angle. Okay, it doesn't need to be so steep. It actually lands without breaking. Wait, is this just going to work? No way! Original design just brings it home. Ah, oh, a nice little break there. The secret world can eat my ass. That is easy. Let's get a nice real-time view here just so we can see how absolutely smooth this is. I feel the pivot's actually kind of nice to make the landing a lot more just in line with the jump. Yeah, that's really nice. This was probably my favorite jump level in the game. How does the gallery do it? Oh, people bring it low. Oh, so there is no jump on the left side. Nor on the right side. Is that six roads in the middle? So one is just missing. This is the cheapest one that didn't really bring it off the ground. But the hydraulic's pretty underwater. It still rotates nicely. It's got a dangle from above because I guess that's cheaper than supporting it with steel. This has everything, everything in the middle. And just a couple small hydraulics. The majority of the bridge is pretty stable. That is so smooth it almost doesn't make it. But if I'm being honest, this secret world business is easy. Surely the next level won't kick my ass. 
Stay tuned next time to find out if it does. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.